Mm. What's up? It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm Jasmine Brand. And I'm Party Fontaine. Oh, shit. Hey. Well, first of all, thank you for coming and sitting on the actual couch because we did Lip Service Live with you in Philly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which we appreciate you for. We were just reminiscing. He learned mm -hmm. how to use a tampon. Oh, no, I knew how to use it. Y'all okay. just made me demonstrate. You know, <laughs> we how, to use how did you learn how to use a I, tampon? I don't know. Like, I just, I don't know. I just knew. Like, you oh my just, God. Yeah. It's really good for it stopping out. up um, blood anywhere. Like, if you have a cut or something, or nosebleed. Yeah, no, it's easy because that's a hole. I've never yeah. used it, but I just I just <laughs> figured it out intuitively. Yeah. Said, like have you rocket. ever pulled a tampon out of someone? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. I know you have like <laughs> random. I thought it would yes. be funny, yeah. You did? Yeah. Okay, because you know how sometimes it'd be a period and guys don't care. Yeah, and then they start and then. That's never happened to you. Yeah, I mean, you, that's clearly you why you pull like when a you tampon, don't care, right? you you in love. Like, nah, you just I just knew it was like. Man, this is day five and a half. Like, stop playing. Yeah. We, you spot This is girl. day five. You're right. Oh, Jasmine looked at me so yeah. crazy. There's like... a snake in my boots. Because yeah. <laughs> sometimes you'll try to do it a little bit, and then it feels like the tampon's going further up, and you're like, am I going to lose the string? Oh, Duh. my God. That's terrible. You ever lost a, stamp, a tampon inside of you? So I thought I did once. Okay. I was very drunk and we were, and I was like, I can't, I can't. And the next day I was like, where's the tampon? I didn't remember taking it out. I actually went to the doctor. Because I was concerned, and the doctor was like, there's nothing there's here. Nothing so there. I must have taken it out, but forgot. And didn't know. What about you, Jasmine? Did they do an ultrasound? Did they do an ultrasound? They don't <laughs> That ever happened to you, Jasmine? Yeah, I, um, I, didn't, I was drunk in Miami, and mm -hmm. I didn't realize See? I had a tampon in, so I put another one in. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And so took that one out. And then like a few days later, it was I sat down and it was like something like, I was like, what, what is, is this? this? Oh, you know, you had a miscarriage. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> yeah, so I guess I had yeah. put an extra one up there. I didn't know. So I had, I, it happened to me when I was back when I was dancing. Mm -hmm. As you know, when we dance on our periods, we cut the string. Oh. And it was like last day and I forgot. And Why like, do you, can't you just stick, stick You can stick it out, it's just but it's, be safer it can slide to, uh, back. It's, yeah, it's just, so the last it's just safer to cut it. Oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Last it's, just, day. it's just safer to cut it. No, so it wasn't, it was a couple days went by like the same and I'm like, there's something happening. And then I birthed the tampon. You want to hear something? So there was a woman who's on the show, I'm not going to say her name, but if you ever look it up, you can find it. But she actually... Um, had a tampon in her for months and forgotten. Mm. Her partner at the time told her that she was had a stench. Oh, mm. we talked about this. Okay. And she was like, you need to go to the doctor. And it turned out she had like a tampon in her for like two months. <gasps> oh. That was one hell of a stench. That was a whole dead body. <laughs> oh my God. What if wow. I never, listen y'all, what if mine stayed up there and I didn't know? No, you would have known. Yeah? Yeah. So that lady was up there, up there. That had to be up you know there. She said, months. fortunately, like her, How many the guy she was dating, she had a kid with him. He was like kind enough to tell her like, that something was wrong. stink. You need to yeah. go to the doctor. Something's wrong. And so, and truthfully, like, I mean, you know, people talk about stuff like that all been. the time, but if there's a stench, there could, there's something wrong. You know what's funny? Me and Angela, I were, we, you and I had a conversation. I was like, yo, if I ever smell, friend, you got to tell, tell me. me. Yeah, yeah, don't let me walk around crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and somebody probably, I'm uh, glad her man did, but you know, you, you want to tell your friend if you, yeah, you yeah. know. Have you ever had to say that to somebody? Like, you got a little... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> would you? No, I haven't. What? But uh. would you? That's a tough conversation. Yeah, that's it depends on who it is. You know like, what I'm saying? He never called me again. My, you know what I'm saying? If, yeah, that would happen before. I'm more of that like... You just won't. Yeah, yeah, damn. It wasn't all the way right that last time. <laughs> that last time. You could have had some stuff, stuff Right, you know there. what I'm saying? You give him one more chance after that, but yeah. you know... Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, I love the fact that he came in here and the first thing Party said to us was, what are we talking about today? Right. You know what we're talking what, about. What can we possibly you talk about? You know what we're here, what here talk for. about, he said. <laughs> all right, so let's get into a whole lot of things. Um, first of all, so... The EP project, what do you mm -hmm. call it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, it was Sex Tape, you know what I'm saying? That was the name yeah. of the project. Uh, but, you know, when you're trying to promote stuff on Instagram, when you use certain words, they kind of like... Too many. Yeah, they you, you try to like shadow ban it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so promoting uh, sex tape like might censor. not go over well. So we kind of went with just X, X tape. tape. Yeah, okay, because you know I mean? so. we was trying to figure that out. Yeah, because yeah, I we got saw it both. as X tape because we got a little preview. Yeah. yeah. But mm -hmm. then you had wrote sex tape on right, right, right. social media. <laughs> so it's okay. sex tape. Yeah, it's okay. originally sex tape. So if, you, if, kind you, of if you see it X tape, it's because it's abbreviated for right. sex tape. Right, got it. Because I was thinking about it, the first like few songs feel like about an X, but then later on... Not as much. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know if it was a progression of like just breaking up with somebody. Because the transition of yeah. moving on. Mm -hmm. 
He said, so, mm. I, can see, I, I can see how one can think that. You know what I'm saying? I can see that. You absolutely we can. We gave Mr. Yeet. We gave you yeah. the, the we, heard, we heard the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You better sip that drink. We're going to talk let, let about me, it. Me, yeah. What song did y'all heard? Let me hear this. We heard the whole thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. which ones? <laughs> well, let's start off with Show Me Love. I love the honesty where... <laughs> I like Show Me Love. Now, in this song, he says that even... If his album yes. went cardboard, he still got good dick. Some good so. dick. Yeah. <laughs> that, who told and, and you? My, and my heart is pure. Even if yeah, and yeah, his uh, heart is pure. Let's goes, not forget the heart. Cardboard. If it go cardboard, I don't care. I know I know who I am, <laughs> baby. You know what I'm saying? And she shouldn't care either. Who? who, who I mean, be? whoever, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can we say, like, you know, we your girl is here, Jada mm-hmm. Kingdom. Is that, like, official official? Like, that is my lady, my significant we, other. We, we, Y'all go together? We, we, yeah, real, real bad? Tell them real bad. Really? <laughs> did he ask? Like, did you ask her? Like, listen, are you my girl? Is it? Nah. This or was, was it just like an understanding? That's what I did. Like, like this. You go. <laughs> you look over. One day you be like, you better not be fucking nobody else. You and know wow. what I'm saying? And then, and then she it. said, and then, then, what did she? She says, all right. Yeah, Same exactly. said, Well, let me. See. <laughs> you, you know what? Everybody listen, you know, listen, you know, not, listen. You know. Now that you say, I feel like. That Sometimes it has. They mm-hmm. hit you with the "Don't be out here embarrassing me." Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then she got to look at you and say, Same. "You better not be fucking nobody else." Period. Right? Look at her face over there. <laughs> 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 she said that too. Did you say that back? Like you better not be fucking nobody else. No, you don't care. Unless, you? Unless she we, said unless, she ain't worried. Unless we're doing it together. This was the Ooh. setup. Having you in here is the setup. It's a great setup. Nah, we nah, love nah, it. Nah, nah. Go, go, go. <laughs> they're going to keep doing this. But you got her in the middle of some shit, though, to I be did. clear. Well, not on purpose, but you had some shit happening that was very public, and then it ends up like trickling down, and then it turns into a whole you speculation. Know. I, absolutely. That's, I don't think that's the sequence of events. I don't think that's how it happened. Okay. Break it down. <laughs> I think everybody was going on with their lives peacefully. Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And there was no questions about anything. I think we was just living our life, right? We just went out and mm-hmm. everything was great. Were you hesitant to be like Instagram, <clears throat> we outside? Because sometimes that's a hard step to take because, you know, everybody's about to be like, woo what's going on? Woo-woo. This happening? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it just was, I don't know. It's not something I really thought about. We just mm-hmm. living life, you know what I'm saying? Bobby. So fashion week just kind of happened like, oh, shit, I forgot. You can't just go outside. Be outside. Yeah, you can't like just I pop out. Kind yeah. of forgot about that, but yeah, can't just, stop the bag. Just yeah, just living life. Mm-hmm. How did you guys meet? I know this ain't on the questionnaire. I know this is not on. I don't. The, I don't have yeah, to I write did. it down. I can ask you. This is regular conversation questions. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yo, I know that's not on the questionnaire. I, <laughs> no, right. I, the questionnaire. Yeah, the questionnaire. I, I, I know that's not on there. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, is. I did that How did you year. guys meet? No, but. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> I have been hating about some some music, actually. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then she kind of like just dubbed it. You know what I'm saying? For a minute, just nah, not this song, not this song. So I'm like, all right, but mm-hmm. we're gonna figure out what song this is to get on. You know what I'm saying? So, so um, I'm like, I'm gonna be in Miami soon, whatever. You know what I mean? Let's just make something. Hell no, she definitely wasn't hearing that shit. Okay, that's good. So um, I don't know, just <laughs> through just constant efforts of trying to establish some type of work relationship. Um, was that really all that was on your mind too? Initially, no. like, y'all, okay. y'all put that on anything. Look, look. Yeah. And if, I'm, if, if I'm honest though, if I'm <laughs> honest, the more and more I was hitting her just on music, like she only had like four or five pictures up. You know what I'm saying? The more she started posting, I'm like, yo. Slow. Okay. Wait a minute. Should kind of now fly. what drew you about, like to her about her music initially? Um, The tone, she had a crazy tone, you know what I'm saying? She had dropped the record, I'm like, and I had uh I had two records in mind already like Run Run and then I had uh I had uh, another record that I was working on I like on. Run Run and I'm like yo it'd be dope to have somebody that's you know what I'm saying from this genre of music be on here so she was the first one that came to mind mm-hmm. and uh I respect her craft so it worked out yeah it did she's not on Run 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 though right uh, she declined it too but you know oh. it was whatever. Oh, tough crowd. Right. <laughs> he, he likes rejection. Well, at least his dick is good, right? <laughs> She's like, yeah. I'm <laughs> but, okay, There was so, some type of collab that ended up happening. We clearly. Did, we did collaborate. And, like, even, Jen, even though she won't get on the mic, I just got to ask you this. Were you hesitant knowing that, like, all of the very public, the breakup that he was going through, did you hesitate as far as, like, wanting to even post anything, just knowing that it was going to be, like... <clears throat> Yeah, shit to, I got shit to do with her. 
Okay. Because sometimes it's annoying when you know, even though it ain't got nothing to do with you, you like, people are going to... Mm-hmm. All right. In case you all couldn't hear oh, what she said, she's just saying at the end of the day, she's in the spotlight. It's what comes with it. And so you know what it is. All right. So now let's get to you, Partisan, because you haven't really spoken <clears throat> about this breakup other than in the song that you put out, which is not on the album, by the way. Mm-mm. So you put that out just as a standalone. Was that initially supposed to be on the project? No, I had uh, I had no intention on addressing, you know, the nothing. person. Yeah, yeah. That, and that's what it feels like. I know, you know what I'm saying. It feels very spontaneous. Moving, you know what I'm saying. It was like I felt like I just had to clear my name, like you know what I'm saying. I didn't like what was Sidebar, being put out there. Sidebar, you did it so eloquently. Thank you. Very classy. It. That's not everybody's take, but I, it's I, definitely I, not everybody's take. I, I, no, I appreciate I think it, that. I think anybody it was. that has listened to it, I think that's like the takeaway from anybody who really sat and listened to where I was trying to go with it and coming mm-hmm. from. But um, yeah, it was it was definitely not my intention. It was just something I felt like I had to do. You know, mm-hmm. like I didn't even put it on the tape because I didn't want. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now let me get back to. Yeah. Me, where I was, where I was going. Back to our regularly scheduled program. Yeah, you know what I mean? Were you hesitant right at all about, did you have any second thoughts about putting it out? Yeah, like how long did you record it before you actually was like, I'm going to let this fly? Because it felt to me, in my head when I heard it, I thought maybe it was something you wrote to vent and maybe never thought you might put out and then <clears throat> changed your mind. I don't know. It was, um, I had several thoughts about like, yo, just, you know what I'm saying? But the, 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 the more and more it sat with me, like, I'm like, yo. I, I, don't, I don't like this. I don't like the way, you know what I'm saying, I'm being portrayed. I don't like people not knowing, you know what I'm saying, the whole story, especially something I had. That was fine, you know what I'm saying? It was left yeah. alone, everything was cool. So I felt like I just had to, especially like the way that it involved my, my uh, you know, current situation. It was like people attacking her. You know what I mean? I'm okay. like, this has to be cleared up. You know, you know sometimes straight. we don't like when people could talk about you, but when you talk about somebody I care about or make some, that is kind of when people get very like in protective mode. Yeah. Um. So, okay. So let's address everything. Cause on the Cobra song, she talked about you, Um. <laughs> you know, in the same bed that she sleeps in. Right. So you said it wasn't there. So what did happen? Did that's, you cheat? That's not what happened. Put it like that. That's not what happened at all. Um, what's cheating? No, no, no. Let, Don't let, do let, that. No, 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 no. Please, 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 please. Because, <laughs> Don't you but, do that. No, no, no. Because I really need to go there. I really, I really, really do. Did you get but your dick sucked by deflecting. somebody else? I'm not deflecting it. Did she catch you getting your dick sucked? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. Did you? Did you? Were, did you have sex or be or you intimate with somebody else while y'all while y'all were in, in a relationship? relationship? Absolutely not. Okay. okay so so you're she, saying you didn't cheat? Absolutely, but this is my thing, right? Okay. Is, is hiding text messages cheating from your partner? Is that cheating? Well, what are these text messages? Well, I feel if like it's something that you gotta hide from your partner. Is it cheating? Right, and that's what I was gonna say. I feel like anything, and I've, I've answered this plenty of times. I feel like anything that you are doing that you would not do in front of your significant other, I feel like that's a form of cheating, or Rather anything you don't want her doing. Right. Rather it's be, emotionally, you know, right? physically, <clears throat> intellectually, if it's something that you're not going to do right in front of your partner or something that you wouldn't accept your partner doing from you, then yes, that's cheating. Yeah, that's just probably. my thought. So did you cheat? In that regard, I, 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 I say so. Okay. You know what I mean? So but maybe it was inappropriate stuff but you I did. Will say In, inappropriate, inappropriate, correct, right? <laughs> okay. You're inappropriate, correct. But the way that it was painted out would have me so mad. I'm like... This is the part of the relationship after everything that took place, everything that was like kind of, you know, forgiven, everything that we've washed away, especially when nobody asked for this. This is what you want to go with. But she also didn't say your name. So why do people say that? I mean, it's true, though. Why do people say that? Because that could be something from like that has nothing. Sometimes, you know, it's music. So you could be writing about something and people think it's about them. And granted, putting that in a song, she knows that people are going to think it's about you. So I get it. But you're saying that never happened. I'm saying it didn't transpire. Like, yo, you pulled up and such and such. Well, so ha- something transpired, Absolutely. but not that. Absolutely. And after I thought, this is this is a done deal. We're not together. You are doing, you know, your thing clearly. And that's what we're doing, mm-hmm. you know, so. Okay. And this is somebody that you said even that you thought about, like, marrying. <coughs> Were you guys ever engaged? No. No. But you had considered it. You bought a ring and everything? It, it was uh, selected. Okay. Shout out to Greg. We're, we're Greg, shout out to Greg, <laughs> it man. Was Greg it was selected. It was selected. Greg Unit, that's my dog. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? 
Okay. <clears throat> so what led to you guys? And listen, to be clear, like, um, because I know that's somebody that you did clearly love. And so we have empathy for that situation because she's Absolutely. been through a lot. Absolutely. You know, in her family and being, um, you know, having traumatic things happen to her. Absolutely. Right. Very publicly and people attacking her and things yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. So what led to you guys breaking up? Because even listening to the music like Show Me Love um, and complaining and all of that, it feels like, you know, it's a rocky relationship because she did have a lot of walls up. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I just feel like that was all relationships. You know what I'm saying? We mm -hmm. all got things to get through. Yeah. And we all just chose to go through those things together. You know what I'm saying? Like we 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 in this for the you know what I'm saying the long haul, like I understand the person that I love is going to disappoint me. You know what I'm saying? The person that I love is going to hurt me. It's just because we're that close. It, it just happens that way. You know what I'm saying? Not intentionally, Unintentional. but it just happens. And I, you know, those are things you endure for for people you love and the relationships that you want to be in. But um, I don't know. It was several things. It was several things. But you know, even in the person you talk about her like lying about sleeping with somebody that she was working with at the time and everybody was speculating you know on that as well so that really happened that what that you shook hands with somebody and yeah, yeah I, I don't i don't not. i don't i'm not alive yeah absolutely mm -hmm. right i see now i want to ask y'all about that Gigi, why are you smiling like that because i'm waiting to see what you about to say yeah you know okay. i know you're coming with it <laughs> all right so let's just say you're dating somebody and in the past you slept you know with somebody else and he asked you have you ever lied and been like no yeah. yeah, never. Yeah. Now, why? Just to save face. Like, I don't want no trouble. So let mm -hmm. me just, like, omit. Let me just <laughs> omit? That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> let me just not tell the truth. <laughs> yeah, that is a lie. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, on the flip side of that coin, I've been with someone who was cheating on me and had me befriend this person that they were cheating on me with. Mm. And then it, it, when the shit hit the fan, I felt like a dumbass because you got me trying to be friends with this girl knowing, and not only you know, but everybody around us knowing that you fucking this girl behind my back. Mm. So mm, like, mm, mm. Yeah. yeah. Got to be more careful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about you, Jasmine? Have you ever lied to somebody you dated like about somebody you slept with? They asked you and you were like, no. That's I've never lied, but I haven't volunteered. It. Like I, you know, yeah, omit. If somebody asks you directly, no, if somebody asks me directly, then yeah, but I, I would tell them. But I have not told a dude, and he didn't know. Like, oh, I, I did sleep with him before. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then, but he just, never asked though. But they in the same room watching the game. Yes, that hasn't happened. No, uh -uh. that that doesn't happen a lot. I'm not. So, would that have bothered you if she would have been like, yeah, in the past that did happen, <laughs> but you know that was. Bro, I'm not. I'm not here to judge nobody's past. You know right. what I'm saying? Like it's major. Who so you, you would are. rather have been? Guy. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, I men want to know. Yeah, yeah. Dog, I understand. Know how to, you know what I'm saying? Address certain situations. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. How does that affect you in relationships moving forward? Like you, um, you know, you're with Jada now. You guys look like y'all are having a good ass time together. Mm -hmm. But how does like your past affect you? Because we all know we have, um, you know, baggage from our past, and you even talk about it in the music. Just. Um, <clears throat> things you've been through too, but how does that affect your relationship? I mean, I think we all get kind of uh, guarded, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We all get kind of like, but me, I'm like, I got severe ADHD, so I kind of forget about what whatever happened and I'm kind of like, Focus. To, yeah, you know what I mean? So I think that's the gift and the curse. It, it works for me. You know what I think is interesting about you? First of all, I've always thought you've been super cool from when the first time I met you. I was like, he's, and you're also able to write from a woman's perspective. I love that. But yeah. I also feel like that's like a way of tapping into how women feel. Where do you get that from? Um, that's a good question. And I've never been asked that. But I am the beneficiary of having just great women around me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if if you listen to any of my music, even from like the first project, Underrated, mm -hmm. um, like, I, I tend to speak highly of women. You know what I mean? Like, that's my, because I had so many great examples. Like, my mother was one. Uh, my sister Shaquilla was one, you know, uh, uh, ladies at the church that I was raised around, Vicki Jones, Roseanne Richardson. Like, these are just great examples of women that have been, like, instrumental in my life that, like, really kind of 
just shaped me and made me who I am. So I I know a lot of rappers speak of like, oh, this bitch ain't this, this bitch ain't that. And of course there are those people, but in my <laughs> life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, my my experiences have always probably been pretty like, you know, great. Positive. You do know you, what I'm saying? Do you have female homegirls and friends I, and stuff like that too? Honestly, I really don't. I don't have too many. See, it, it feels, <laughs> it feels like, like he would, would right? Yeah. yeah. I, I, <clears throat> yeah, it feels like he would. Okay, that's I'm, cool. It's fine. Uh, uh, yeah, I... I I always fuck up the lines of friendship. Oh so my god! That's why, like, right. I never, so he, know, he knows that about himself. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I'd be like, when girls be like, "Oh, he's my friend," I'd be like, "Nah, he will fuck you. Like, don't. He's not your friend." I, I have guy friends that I've been friends with like for decades. So I don't do. be that, bro. You too. You come no, on, yeah, that. I get what you're saying because that happens. If you send we a text, do have guy like, friends. Yo, no, send I have a text. Cool, Listen, but the minute that, send the text, the like, yo, that you I need you to come over. He's going to clap your shit. I promise you, like, Gigi's ex is a friend of mine, and he ain't never ever even looked at me that way. Of and course, because it's there, and you'd be weird to do so. I don't well, know, they but... were friends before, uh, before me. Yeah, before. I, that's how I know her. Yeah. Oh, oh um, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Copy, and copy. I have friends that I've known since I was young that it like <laughs> does not that have never. You know what I'm saying? No, I get it. I get it. There so, but I occasions. think that's important. What about Jada having male friends? Would that bother you, or does she have male friends? You got male friends? <laughs> no, we, yeah, we, she we, does. We, yes. Bro, like we we've understood this. We understood this. People but we that dictate won't, with what, 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 yes, y'all yes, do dictate where the relationship goes, right? Dictate. <laughs> Dick. Dick. I right. You did there. Women do women do dictate <laughs> where, where the relationship goes, right, and how far it goes. But as long as y'all are aware that, like you know, what I'm saying, I hate when you, <clears throat> no, he don't see me like that. I, I hate that. I hate that. You, it's I, true. I do believe it's that. true to a I certain extent. That. With some men, it is true. But I also <laughs> agree that you have that. Why do you? I have also that? agree that you have that set group of men that the minute that you like, all right, what's up with the what's up? They <laughs> on their way. They've been waiting for that day. What would you would you put a percentage on that? Mm, I would probably say 50-50. <laughs> you are optimistic. <laughs> That was cool. <laughs> yeah, I would probably say 50 50. So you've been, but I don't you, think most guys, I mean, because again, we as women, we <coughs> dictate how the relationship goes. We're going to bro the fuck out of you. Right. Mm -hmm. But so we can't bro you no more. Women that you can be friends with who you're just not attracted to. Also. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That, that happens. But, mm -hmm. but I feel like, I feel like yeah. men I even call. will still, will still try to mm -hmm. fuck though, even if they like, oh, No, no. If, if the girl requests, kind of sort of. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, if the girl yeah. Okay. But like, for the most part, like, when I say a friend, it's like somebody I talk to every day, regardless of like, yo, you getting on the game, yo, bro, you seen this, da da da. I'm seeing you DMs. <laughs> like, I don't have no woman that I just do that with on the casual, and it's nothing. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got people that y'all just send memes I have a, to yeah, and shit. I have a male best friend. Or yeah, yeah, I have really good like people who I grew up with. I'm friends with their wives. I knew them way before they got married. Like maybe I'm naive to it. Maybe I'm just in a whole. You know what I'm saying? A whole different. <laughs> I don't have a ton of guy of... friends. I have a few, like I'm cool, but you I don't have a ton of friends, period, though. You this have a true. small circle. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, so that's fair enough. I also feel like it's important for women to have women friends. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know how sometimes people will be like, well, I don't fuck with other women. Like, I don't... That's whack. Yeah, to me. that's a yeah. red flag to Yeah. Me. That's to not have whack. not one homegirl that you can confide in. Yeah, that's weird. Not one homegirl from high school or middle school that you grew up Nobody with. Nobody cool with you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like you just don't have no friends. Like, like I feel like women that don't have friends, it says a lot about them as, yeah, a, as their character. If girls don't like your energy, like yeah, it, something it says right. something about you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? None of them like you. Right, yeah. Because yeah. you know I got a ton of girlfriends. Mm -hmm. I love my girls. Um, now, let me ask you this. Also, uh, and we're going to get into the X tape in a second. <clears throat> but it's hard for me to not ask these questions because the project's called X tape. You know, sex tape, sex but, tape, yeah. X tape. I mean, you, know. we, you change it to X tape. I can't help that. I mean, I just drop off the X. <laughs> Do I got to drop off the E too? So it just be X or X tap? I just, X. Tape. No, that's a whole nother thing. No, just, yeah. <laughs> she got jokes. <laughs> All right, but you also said that um, she could still um, hit your mom up for anything. Um. Yeah, because like if you really go through this, like I've always throughout the record is it's been like. Genuine concern, like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, like, like uh, you. She's always been able to talk to my mom, you know what I'm saying. Even after it was done, you know what I'm saying. After yeah. everything was done, it was like, yo, like uh, after the trial, like my mom reached out, like you know, like make sure she's good. Congratulations, you can go on with healing. This part of your life is, you know, um. So yeah, I, I, how did your mom feel about the song then? She she didn't really approve of it. She was mm. uh. Like I was just kind of, I was kind of, I think we both were. We both kind of just caught off guard of it being like, uh, 
being somebody that I went through like a lot with, you know what I mean? To to try to use me for that for that uh little excerpt in the song, I felt like was it was tough. I felt like I didn't think that would ever come to pass. You know what I'm saying? Like to use me just so to be a talking point in a record. I, I didn't. I didn't agree. But with she that. might have really felt like that, even though it could have been over, right? And then that happened. Did I you, don't know how did it you, happened. Did you reach you, out after you heard her, heard that record? I, you, you you made your decision. Nah, you you do anything. It don't matter. His you, reach out was the response. Yeah. Like okay. Yeah. Did she say anything to you after that, or no? Uh, it's no. over. No, no. What you it's think would happen now. if you guys run into each other? Literally nothing. Nothing. Not even speak or. Y'all been through a lot. To, you were there for her during a really difficult time. Yeah, but I got a lot of new music that's about to drop. You know, uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, Can we talk about the song Polygamy then? Polygamy, absolutely. I like that song. <laughs> <laughs> you know, being in a relationship now. So is your relationship monogamous? Or is it like a situation where, because you said we could pick girls together. Like, what goes on? What goes on? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> She had it herself. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. We just we are uh, <laughs> enjoying we, each other. We are, you know what I'm saying. We are a fun, y'all having spirited what? people. You know what I'm saying. We we have fun and and a lot of ways. She likes to paint. We both play the game. We just we we enjoy Bye. all aspects of of life. You know, y'all, what I'm saying? y'all soaking up each other's creative energy. Absolutely, mm-hmm. I'm here for it. Absolutely. So this is enjoy a, that. Yeah, you seem like yeah. a relationship kind of person. Yeah. Yo, I, I think. Uh, hmm. It doesn't happen for me often, though. You know what I'm saying? I think I I, I prefer it definitely, but I don't think I, I I genuinely find. You know what I'm saying? Somebody to connect with on a consistent level often, but when I do, it's it be lit. He said it'd be lit. It do, it do be lit. Very you lit. know, sometimes I think we also don't think about when breakups happen, like how men are affected. Because usually they're not. They be on to the next. But That's, that's not, not true. Yeah. That's See, not and true. That's, I think we that is an important up. conversation to so have. You know what feel is? like You guys don't express it. Like They don't. I think for women, we mm-hmm. express things <clears throat> right away yep. and very that's like what I was deeply. Men, and for men, y'all kind of mask it. BS. Because you feel like it's not acceptable to be like, and then y'all it's grieve. Up we yeah. grieve immediately. Y'all have a delayed reaction to y'all's grief in a breakup. Normally, some yeah, sometimes. Normally, but, but y'all wild out first. Like, we could, ah, we could have, we could have, and we then y'all have, think about it. Like, we got damn. a reaction to anything, and there's always some type of criticism or or backlash. You know what I'm saying? For any reaction, yeah, you too sad. It's man up. You know what I'm saying? You too, mm-hmm. you too, uh, you too expressive. Is oh he's Sassy, or you know what I'm saying? Not like, sassy. Like, not like, spicy. Bro, like, that's I, a terrible word like, to use. You're spicy, sassy. Do you yo, think can you... we talk about, can we talk ahead, about that term? And, like, spicy, yo, sassy. sassy. Yeah, yo, women have found a way to just disarm men speaking their mind or emotions totally. Like, with one word. When, whenever, you, whenever you correct them or something, oh, you're being sassy, you arguing back with a woman. What do you? What, you will not want me to use words? Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, so that's. <laughs> it's, it's insane. I don't like that. It's like, insane. I don't, I don't hear sassy a lot. Oh no, they do yeah. that to try oh, to. I hear spicy. I think it's it's word. to try to demasculate. Like yeah. if you feel not spicy, masculine, I don't hear sassy a lot. I hear sassy. Yeah, I hear like sassy. Yeah. when they when they have nothing else to resort okay, to, sis. it's like yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like let me attack his man because that'll piss him off. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Do you, do you feel like you properly grieved your last? Like because we were talking about getting out how how men get over relationships um i did a lot i did i went through rounds of therapy um Mm -hmm. i got a psychiatrist like i got i did i did a lot you know um um it's good for you to move on into your new situation healed because the last thing we as women want is for you to come along with your baggage person yeah Yeah. you know what i'm saying we don't want to heal you oh my god i did this guy one time and and he went through a a really bad breakup and like (sighs) i was like i had to tell him i was like listen Cause he clearly was not over it, and I was like, I don't think I could date you right now. I just want you to get over. It. Let's just be friends. Yeah, yeah, get your shit together. I was like, cause I'll I could bet. tell that you're not over that, and I don't even want to like, you know, cause sometimes things do be rebound situations. Yeah, and I just felt like it isn't even. He ended up like having a whole fucked up situation after that with you know whatever. But anyway, I just had to do that because I was like, I could tell you're not over this. And cause he would really vent to me and talk to me about it a lot. 
to the point where I was like, okay, like it's been three weeks of me hearing nonstop about yeah. how she did you wrong. I don't want to mm. hear it no more. Is that fucked up? But I didn't know no, that. No, but it was no. early on. How, it was, I was about to say, how long was y'all together? It was early on. It was so we had just really started <clears throat> talking, and it was a fresh breakup. Mm. And so yeah, I he needs some more time. I felt anyway. like I was a yeah. It was a situation where it was you know too new for that. So, I feel like you want, can we do a shot for um? So are y'all friendly? Y'all do a no, shot absolutely. But a sex Let's take. Do a shot. You said y'all. Yeah, yeah, but I've been consistently down in this costume. Yeah, that's the second cup. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, we're yeah. gonna do a shot because we I just want just a shot. Just yeah, because I want to celebrate you finally sitting on this um absolutely Toro couch. couch. I'm happy to be here. No, we're happy to have you here because I know it's not an easy conversation to have, but what I do appreciate is how open you are to discuss anything. No, absolutely. Yeah, I've been. I've been uh. I've been silent for a long time. And I'm just happy that I'm back in a space where I'm comfortable, like, mm-hmm. you know, sharing art, sharing music. Yeah. And, yeah. um, I like the new EP too. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. I, I do. do. Yeah, I do like it. And Sexy Red, is that the only guest appearance on it? Ooh. That's all we heard. You know, I love me some Sexy Giving Red. Out the spice already. <laughs> um, um, she's, yeah, right. she's dope. Uh, on this one, yeah, so far. You know what I mean? So it might be more. I'm, I'm really, I'm. That's what I'm saying. I wanted, to, I wonder what version y'all got because okay. I'm. I feel like some of the song, I'm, some I'm of the song was cut off. Like I didn't know if it was my, but I'm actively like, you know what I'm saying, okay, maneuvering editing. this, right? You know what I'm saying? So I didn't know what Thank version you. y'all got. Cheers to the sex tape. Mm-hmm. All right, now I want to talk about I'm one dropping thing. Dropping on OnlyFans too. What? Yeah, Wait, slow down. Now, back the up. Mixtape is dropping on Only. No, I'm Oh, I was like, well, no, the dream did that. He did that with his album. How did it do? He did an OnlyFans um, situation. Okay. You know, so are you doing a lot of videos for this? Yeah, I, pro- I think I got a visual for every song. <laughs> oh, already? Yeah, I think I do. Like, I had I had a lot of time to prepare. You know what I'm saying? I know I wasn't active, but I've been working. All right, now let me ask you this, um, Partisan, because a lot of guys have issues with taking accountability. <laughs> mm-hmm. What accountability do you take oh, when man. it comes to the relationship not working? So much. I feel like uh, I feel like I can think back to several situations where it was like, I wish I'd have done something differently, or mm-hmm. I wish I would have had more understanding. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. Like, but I, I take that away from from all of my situations where where I kind of reflect like, damn, I wish I would have done that. Even with my even with my child's mother. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm saying. I wish I was young. I wish I would have known what came with having a child. I wish I would have you know what I'm saying been able to be mentally there you know what i mean like mm-hmm. so accountability is not a thing i struggle with how um how did you guys you and your child's mother get to a good space or are you in a good space um depends on the day it is but, <laughs> but no nah, but she's but she's like she's a, she's a superstar you know what i'm saying she's uh mm-hmm. my daughter's super smart you know what i'm saying she's excelling in school and what, she got a good I, mom there. a lot of charisma absolutely mm-hmm. um a lot of charisma um so shout out to her you know what i'm saying i probably don't say it enough but we 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 maintain it. day by day. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what did you learn in therapy? Like, what are some things that you would say are key things <clears throat> that even because I always tell people like with therapy, it also can teach you um, some tools and how mm-hmm. to react in situations. And so, what are some key things that you learned in therapy about yourself? Um, I'm I'm one of those people that actually blames myself first. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm one of those people that like if something happens. I'm the first one to be like, damn, I, I I messed this up, or they're gonna look at me this way, or they're gonna think this of me. You know what I mean? Like, so, and I felt like, and I always told them, I'm like, I feel like I'm always on eggshells trying to avoid something that could upset somebody, or avoid a confrontation, avoid like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, and you always been like that? The, I feel like for for a while now. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I feel like, and he was like, I don't know, something happened to you that that made you try to be proactive to all situations so you already trying to think of how somebody would react if you did this or if you said that you know what i mean and it just put me in that space and he was like yo you really can't live your life like that you really got to do what feels correct to you and then if there is a mistake made apologize for it but you're going to drive yourself crazy trying to you know Mm -hmm. what i'm saying and trying to figure out how people are going to feel and and Mm -hmm. think about you ahead of time that might be a childhood thing I, I don't know, and I've really been trying to channel it to and figure, figure out it what out. it is exactly. Yeah, you like, gotta live for you. What has me like so, you know? Mm-hmm. And it, and it was something I really struggled with. So like, mm. and I feel like it really carried on to my adult life, mm. even with like releasing <coughs> music lines mm. and songs. Like I'm second and third thinking things, 
But now I've been like, through that, I've been able to just be like, yo, express yourself, do what you do, do what feels good. You know you're not a bad person. If you upset somebody or you, you do something wrong, say I'm sorry and just, you know, keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm, that's interesting because, yeah, it feels like now you like, I'm just going to express myself. And, look, and Because look what that, you know what I'm saying? Look what, look what being, you know what I'm saying, reserved and look, waiting for everybody else's, you know, either approval or making sure they're good. Look where it got me, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm, I'm sacrificing Hawaiian, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an interesting thing because sometimes I feel like people say things and if it's not true, I struggle with what should I even bother with responding response. to and not responding yeah. to. Because sometimes I feel like when I respond to things, I make it a bigger situation yeah. and I wish I wouldn't. You make well, it a bigger uh, situation and then they, they still, oh, look at you, you're, you're, you're pressed. Or you're you're, you're and then they're like, you know you lying, you responded, yeah. you know, and that's- And all you're doing is trying to clear the air. They disarm you, bro. They got a ways to disarm you. Sassy, you being sassy. This internet, bro, is, is, is it's insane. It's just hard to know what to do because at the same time, you also want to be like, now fuck that, I got to at least defend mm -hmm. myself yeah. Yeah. at certain situations. But then you're also like, when I do, you know, it's just, it's, you, you never damn know what the, you don't. yeah. So go by feel, bro. You have whatever yeah. you want to do. Do what you feel go, like it's right you for you. Do what you feel. If it's wrong later, you'll be like, ah, I probably shouldn't Oh, well. <laughs> but I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Chips fall out of your done is done. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then, listen, we, last week on the episode of Lip Service, we had, uh, from Rap Shit, mm -hmm. you know, we had Ida and Chameleon on. <laughs> and Chameleon said, <laughs> you are the reason she started rapping again. That's why I say your connection with women artists is different. You know I'm, what I'm, I'm saying? I'm glad she listened to me. I'm glad she listened to me. Shout out to, uh, first off, uh, Issa and um and her co-producer uh her name is Sharita Sharita mm -hmm. um who who does a lot of writing on rap shit um they hold they hold cast and and they uh organization that they got over there is just amazing um I'm featured on rap shit this mm -hmm. this year yes they told yes. us and um exclusive and, they said you were writing a song for them I did yeah. I, I wanted to write a song for the mm -hmm. show you know what I'm saying that they bodied this came out fire um and they they performed it well. But um while I'm there and I'm I'm on the show, we doing glam and makeup or whatever the case may be, and I see her and they told me how she was a rapper and I'm listening to the song. I'm like, yo, like she's pretty dope at this. Yeah. Like she's doing this really well. Yeah. They're like, nah, she's she used really to rap. rap. So I'm like, yo, what what you about to drop? What you about to do? You know what I'm saying? And she's like, ah, I kinda pumped the brakes on the on the rap and <laughs> I'm like, Nah, this is not the time to pump the brakes. Like you want to show, you, it's getting a lot of attention. Yeah, everybody that, know you. This is what you've been waiting for. Like mm -hmm. the blessings never come how you want them to mm. come. You know what I'm saying? So you, you waiting for it to come the way you think it is, you're gonna be waiting forever. Like you know what I'm saying? But that life raft that that you've been looking for is right here. It's like, right yo, here. Don't Take advantage. Absolutely. And she did. And she, yo, go look. But at she her said, gram. she said it's because of you going up. up. That, she credits you for that. I, all I did was give her some words. <laughs> she put it into action. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Chameleon. But like, you never know what push that you know you get that might be the push that really take you over. I'm happy she listened because yeah, um, she's absolutely killing I'm it. I'm happy she's she listened too. She's, she's, she's crushing it. She's been dropping heaters. Going, I've been seeing her everywhere. Before I came here, matter of fact, I seen her on... Uh, on some show, like you know what I'm saying, with my mom, just looking like, yo, look at oh. on TV. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So like shout out to her. Maybe you want go ahead. Does your mom like Jada? Um, they just recently uh <laughs> What kind of question is that? Just, they he's just one of his mom and I and I, I know, know like he's gonna say no. <laughs> nah, she first off, if my mom got a problem with you, like it's really something Because right. it was just the holidays too, person. by the way. My mom is like, when I tell you my mom is the sweetest Aww. woman I know, like Aww. I'm talking about like she might have raised her voice maybe three or four times. Like, you know what I'm saying? At, that I can remember. Like she's like the, the lady's lady. Like, you know Aww. what I'm saying? She's not going to do nothing too loud. She's not going to argue too <laughs> crazy. Like, I don't even think I ever caught her Pooping, like you know what I'm saying. Like she's just a lady. <laughs> like she wait till we sleep. Like you know what I'm hey, saying. Hold on, not pooping don't mean you're not a lady. Like, I'm okay, just saying okay. though, like she's that. <laughs> That's so she's funny. like so like yes. nah. You just, not yeah, I love that. Yeah. She's just you know she has decorum. Yeah. So if my mom has a problem with you, she's like oh, you real yeah, fucked yeah, up. Yeah, if my yeah. mom got right. a problem with you. you how did I mean? you know when? Uh, how did you know when it was appropriate time to introduce them to each um, other? Um, actually, you just kind of uh, 
happened. And then my mom was just so cool. She was like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just... Does your mom follow you? Does she have a social media page too? Low key, she must. Low key. Like, you know what I'm saying? She's asking <laughs> she me be... about stuff. I have no idea how my you mom know be about. Like, oh, she be answer. lurking. Yeah. Like, yo, I'm like, she like. I think I follow your mom. You do? Yeah. Oh my God. It's, first of all, my What's mom, mom be knowing be? everything. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh -uh. No, listen, my mom, she was like, your dad, Um, he listens to lip service. I was like, listen, y'all. Stop it. Don't, Chill out. don't listen yeah. to lip service. Don't. Yeah, they don't. Wow. But I don't, it's whatever. I've been doing this for so long. I'm like, this is how they learn about me. Yeah. My I mom, don't want my mom listening to this. My mom does not like rap. She does not. <laughs> she doesn't? Is she, she listening to, to X tape? She, she. It's mm. sex. It's called sex tape. Hey, no, he changed it to X tape. So we, we're going to call it X tape. I don't know. I doubt that she will, but. She's so stuck. I don't know who X sends it to her. Probably my sister. My right. sister probably sends it to her. Like, What's your sister's name? Sha Shaquilla. Shaquilla. Yeah. So your she... mom do not want to know about you having good dick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mom, stay away from this. I had, I had a, uh, Mom, stay away from this. I had a Mom, performance in my hometown in Newburgh, right? And it was like it was packed. I mean, like we probably had like probably had I don't know ten, fifteen thousand people in the wow. middle of the street. That's a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, people as far as I can see. It's and crazy up there too. Is in the front row watching me perform, and you I'm like, yo, y'all motherfuckers is da da da. You know what I'm saying? She's like. Oh my gosh. Not, not my boy. Sister Johnson is right there. This nigga <laughs> is wild. You know what I'm saying? I know she was so upset. Aww. But, but at the same time, proud she understands. She's she's proud that I'm doing what I doing what I love to do and I'm I'm able to just support myself, you know what I'm saying? And and what did you think you were gonna do before this? Like yeah, there was a time. All right, so boom, it's two stories. So boom. Yeah, so I love boom. This. So, right? <laughs> so boom. Like there was a time when I was in college, I was playing ball, full scholarship, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo. I don't want to play ball no more. I don't want to, like, I, I really got a thing for this music. I have been rapping in my dorm room for so long. I've been making music, like, you know what I'm saying, with my teammates. And they're like, nah, you nice, you know what I'm saying? Um, So I had to call home, and I'm like, yo, ma, like, I think I want to leave school and rap. You know what I'm saying? I had to, I had to build up the, I had to build up the courage <laughs> to tell my mom this, who's Just working. Just go ahead and shoot you yeah. down. Exactly. And she's like, and she's like, baby. She's like, nah, you know what? You are at the age where... You you have to make your own decisions, and mm. if you feel like this is what you compelled to do, then you know I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? So with that, I'm like, pew, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm out, I'm out. Right. But that it didn't happen overnight for me. So it was like two, three years where I'm just working like odd jobs. I'm working at the Nike factory. I'm working <laughs> that word. I'm doing little stuff. I'm doing you know what I'm saying just to oh, try still to still writing and rapping. Right. So she's like, but she sees me at home like <laughs> like three days, four days out the week, just staying in my room, not coming. She's not seeing me. I'm just in the room. She hearing music coming from under the door. She like, yo. Like what you what you doing? Like what, what what's your plan? Like you just in here with the bippity bop all day. Bippity bop. Yeah, that's what she called. Bippity bop all day long. Bippity bop is what, hilarious. What you, what you plan on doing? I'm like I'm gonna be honest, ma. Like this. If if I, you believe in God, you have me in church five days a week. Like I don't believe God will put this much passion in my heart for something, for something that not, wasn't gonna be yeah. for me. Like I don't think He would do that to me, ma. I honestly don't. And she never said nothing about it ever again. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you just, threw God in there. Yeah, she right. was like, oh, she never said Don't nothing. Do it. Ne she was like, you know what? <laughs> you know what, nigga? You all right. You know what I'm saying? You, you got this one off. So she let it She let it rock. And I remember, like, I remember when, like, the first, like, like, when the first bit of money came through and, like, it paid off. And she was like, "Okay, all right." That bippity bop, I, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That bippity bop, bippity bop check I, pulled I, I, up. I don't, I don't agree with what you're saying. The Lord going to get to you, but <laughs> yeah, you know what right. I'm saying. We'll, but we'll talk about that later. At least, at least <laughs> you're doing for yourself. You know yeah. what I mean. So she was proud of that. Are you first? Are you the first musical artist in your family? Absolutely not. My dad is still dropping <laughs> albums to this day. <laughs> I know yeah, that's my right. dad is dropping. Would you put him on an album? Yeah, I'll probably say I'm gonna find one of his records and sample. So, it what kind sure. of um artist is he? He's a quartet gospel singer. I know that's yeah. right. Oh, that's all, all, you from sample all, your all of my uncles sing. That. Everybody sing. Because you do look, have a voice. My cousin sing. Look, hey, hey, you have a voice that like, makes my, sense my now. My brother sing. <laughs> okay, yeah, like so. all right. Yeah, listen. You gotta do like a little family event. Yeah, like that. You better might. do a gospel Sound song or something. Have you done a gospel song yet? I, I have not. But you wanna know something you funny? You gotta do it with the family. The first song I ever wrote, the first song I ever wrote was a gospel song, <laughs> and I brought it to like the choir, uh, the choir director. What was it called? Yeah, yes, I don't please. No, man, I wrote it on paper. Man, I was probably like eleven. I was slow. That's so cute. But what happened it? when you brought it to the choir director? She was like. You wrote this? Uh, you know what I'm saying? It didn't never go nowhere, but it was like, okay. was like yo, Listen. you got ideas. I'm At like, least yo, you stuck I think to we your roots. Sing this. Were you, you know ever I mean? in the choir? 
Yes. Did you ever sing? Did you ever sing solos in the choir? Yo, you want to know something funny? My brother was like, he was like the star of the choir. Like, oh, you know so what I'm saying? You like, good enough. Got so it. So I was like, I didn't think. I'm like, listen, this nigga's nice. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I ain't even about to step play out myself. there. Like, you know what I mean? You try to play. But listen, one day, I swear, it must have been like a, we, we go to church. We went to church like five days a week. So one day, I don't know where he was at, but he wasn't there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He wasn't there. Now it's your time and, to shine. And we sung one of his songs. Uh-oh. Bro, it got to the break. You killed it. Started wilding. Everybody turned like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's giving choir boy. Bro, we need this video. Bro, right. I had all, Somebody the, got all the, the church drums was on me after that. Like, yeah. <laughs> so um, would you would you do a gospel song? Would, would you... I do a gospel song? Absolutely. Yeah. The way the way that gospel music has evolved now, yes. you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's really not that different. It's yeah. just where the message lies. Mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying? I'm. A, do you still go to church? I haven't been. I haven't been in a, in a while, and my mom goes every week, and she invites me every week, and I just find a way to avoid it. But I need to go. Yeah, I need to go. Jada Kingdom, that's that church. <laughs> Sorry, the whole week. You going to church, all right? <laughs> Kingdom Hall. So, Kingdom Hall. See, you being here, look, you just gave I them ammo, it, bro. You it. gave them ammo. <laughs> you gave them She's dramatic. Angela would have did that if she was in the room. I hot. can't help it. Yeah. yeah I would have did it if she was here. Oh, man. Yeah. She probably would have did more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, how is she it for you with her, her family? Have you met her family yet? I haven't. And it's sad because we just went to uh, Jamaica, but we was Ooh, only there what for a time. A, we was only there for like a day and a half, but you know what I'm saying? We was in and out. But you know, you got plans. When the time is right. You got plans. Listen, I know. Would you? Um, it's maybe early for you, mm-hmm. but w- would you see yourself walking down the aisle? You know what I'm saying? <sighs> oh, I've shit. asked myself this a lot. You know what I'm saying? I've mm-hmm. asked myself this a lot, and and I have no. The, the thing I like about a marriage is like, yo, it's you, your wife, and you're making a promise before God. And your family and friends. I love that part of it, right? Like, yo, I'm committed to it. The part that I hate is one, the legal system that's behind it. Right, yeah. Then two, the fact that people are getting divorced left and right. Irreconcilable differences. I'm not happy. Fuck you mean you're not happy. You said to death do, do you part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sicker Make it work. Or, and sicker and you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. For better yeah. or for worse. What do you mean you're unhappy? Figure it the fuck out. Like, you know what I'm saying? So the fact that it's that high and 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 <clears throat> and the benefits for like, you know what I'm saying, is So you don't have to do like a traditional thing. But you know what? I also feel like when you know, you know. If you decide to do it, right. you decide to do How it. How old are you? Thirty-three. Yeah, he's got. So you're like, still young and it's and also I think people think I'm women. Not, yeah, I'm not forty. People I'm 33. think women want to get married, Sick but bitches. that's not true either. Like no, it's, it's just things are just so different now. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? And like I feel like if you decide you want to do it, go ahead. If you decide you just want to be together forever, you could do that too. Yeah. But like mm-hmm. yeah, I, I'm I, I don't like I don't like oh we've been we've been dating for forty one years. I don't like that either. Like bro, do the I like being if you dating, dating, kind of dope, you like dating for forty one years? I would do it. But maybe they, don't, maybe they don't like those reasons that you just listed. Maybe they I have get, issues. I too. get it, but like first off, I like going to weddings. First off, so you I'm do? like yeah, I, what somebody what part, getting what is, married? What's your I'm favorite married. part? Everything. Open bar, dancing. <laughs> well, like, let's let, well, then, slow down. The Everybody does not have open bar at their wedding. Uh, and yeah. they do not yeah. have a you don't got shelf. Open bar, open don't invite him. Don't invite him. Don't invite him. So you, you just like open bar, bar parties. No, no, no. I like the fact that, you know what I'm saying, you dressing up. <laughs> yeah. Everybody. It's, it's a thing. You know what I'm saying? The whole the thing. Bride, yeah. 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 It's, it's a thing. It's all. It's, it's a thing. It's everything. It's a thing. You know what I'm saying? I get to dress up. The family. The love. How you doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's cool. like it's like the whole it's a thing. The Everything. Scenery, Somebody you know? invite him to a wedding, please. Bro, if you got a <laughs> wedding to go to, to but it's got to be like it top be a shelf, good open one. bar. You nah, know? Just, you know what I'm saying? Open bar. I don't care what we do at the reception. You know what I'm saying? We could be paper reception plates. is the best part. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But invite just had a ball. Him like, can know? I tell you the best wedding I've wedding. ever been to? Who's Paul Rosenberg, Eminem's manager? <laughs> Okay. He got married, and when I tell you, first of all, 50 Cent was there, Dr. Dre was there. Where that nigga? He got paper, nigga. It was in Michigan. Michigan, Lit. At the Townsend Hotel. That sounds basic. Listen, that was one of the craziest. I was like, okay, this is like the wedding. Chris Lighty was there. Oh, wow. Yeah. We had a time. Did you get drunk? 
Absolutely. absolutely. I was staying in that hotel where the oh, wedding is. Oh, my gosh. Like, you know, yeah. absolutely. Jesus and there's Christ, nothing better than a wedding mm-hmm. where you get to stay at the hotel yeah. where yeah. the wedding you is. You can change your shoes, oh. come back just down. Go upstairs. I've never, I've never yeah. had that, but that's... That that's cool. a good time. That's what you, make sure when you get married, mm-hmm. right... And you should get married in Jamaica. But make sure yeah. when you get married, you have a wedding in the... <laughs> Lots of rum punch. <laughs> in the hotel. On no, the we, no, tequila punch. Because we like tequila. Tequila punch. Bit, right? yeah. I like tequila too, but in Jamaica, I drunk nothing but the rum. Of course, yeah. rum punch. You got yeah. to. When in Jamaica... Oh, oh, what did you say? Ray and yeah. nephew? Overproof? I don't know. I said, yo, y'all right. pick it. Y'all yeah, pick it. That makes me drunk too fast. Yeah. I said, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, okay. So now look. Now, this is lip service. So, you know, we got some lip service questions for you. Oh, yeah. Oh shit now. Uh, Look, take sip. She said all shit now like she don't know what she's about to ask. No, I, I don't know what I'm about he to ask. Oh, okay, go ahead. Anyway, he so ready. how did you know you were good at sex? How did I know I was good at sex? Because I think all guys think that. Mm. Yes, they do. Mm. You probably a lot think, of them be wrong. Yo, and you're right. All they guys all do think, think they're all good. Guys think oh, yeah, you know this and, all, and all girls think, think they pussy is good. good. Yeah. That's true too. Yeah, I'd be like, how it. the fuck do you know? Like, how do you? Because niggas I, tell us. I make yeah. niggas nut quick. Uh, bitch, uh, I will nut with my hand in two and a half minutes. Like, it has nothing to do with you. That's a good timing. You know what I'm saying? Like, but um, I don't know. I just know. I just know my attention to to detail. Like, you know what I'm saying? I really like attention like, to detail. Yeah, I like like. Are you a pleaser? If she, am I? Like you know what I'm saying? I like if you get off. That's what turned me on. Like you know what I'm saying? Okay, like, so you're a giver more than anything. Your, you know what I'm saying? The stomach up and down type shit. I like I like seeing all the reactions, the heavy <laughs> breathing. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's. I like to study what you do. You know what I'm saying? When you when said you attention to detail. Okay. Yeah. How often do you masturbate? I probably got like a problem. I probably need to see more therapy. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. Yeah. Is it every once a day? Twice a day? It depends on the day. Are you but, you know, depends on the day. <laughs> you see him, he's like. Depends on the day. Muscle memory. You really think you have a problem? <laughs> like if I had it over the years, like no, we're astronomical talking about, numbers. We're talking huh? about currently. Currently, right now, or like, do, do you know? Not watch- now. It's like it's, it's a little, it's a little He's busy. more. more so like, yeah, it's yeah. more respectable. Yeah. You ain't got yeah. time. He you know said it's saying? more respectable. Uh, I've, been, I've been real occupied, you know. Yeah. As of late. But you know what I mean, like, it'd be crazy. When you masturbate, is it imagination, or do you need to visually see something? You need to pull up a flick. I'm a fucking porno connoisseur. Like you know what I'm saying, like a connoisseur. What kind of porn do you like? What should go to? Yeah. It ranges. I'm not gonna front. It ranges. Like right now, like for whatever reason, I'm into like this retro shit, like shit that was formed, like Bounce family. Wild, wild porn? And, and bro, like 70s and 80s. I'm like, yo, these bitches is real <laughs> like freaks. Like Bush? Like, yeah, like oh. these ladies is real freaks. I dare you to go back and look at like some 70s shit. I'm like, yo, <laughs> they you. had no inhibitions. Like, I'm, they and, just like to me, in my mind, I'm like, yo, there's no OnlyFans. Like, y'all wanted to do this. Like, y'all going and filming this on your own. Like, this is not the Very norm for you You know what I mean? Like, wow. So I'm like, retro these, porn. These is real freaks. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's my different. porn taste changes too. All what are you time. into right now? Oh, well, I'm always into lesbian porn. Okay. Why do women say that all the time? Y'all really well, like I really that? like pussy. So. Shout out to pussy. Better do it. Well, then you but, like lesbian but porn. But there's too. times when I like. Some nasty shit. I can't watch it though. What's like, nasty shit? I can't shit? watch lesbian porn though. I like gay Why? porn sometimes. I like like it's just boring. It's like boring as hell, and it lasts I like forever. Bi, like bi <laughs> <laughs> like he said he said lesbian porn lasts too long. Forever. It says take too long. You know I'm a square because well, they got to like, to the good just, parts. Oh, got fast forward. Yeah, it lasts too long. <laughs> he said it be too much of a setup. To me, Cause so. you know why there's like no penetration unless it's. I'm fine with yeah. that though, and I don't want them to use strap ons because I don't like. That's like soft yeah, core. Not like the sensuality of like. Not that, y'all, Gigi. Gigi. Well, it it it, it varies. <laughs> you know, I go through my moves where I want to see them scissor. I go through my moves where I want to see them kiss. I go through my moves when I want to see like the stepmom milf porn. Like, do you like a plot? A what? A plot <laughs> like a storyline. Sometimes, like the massage, some, sometimes the Shorty yoga. can't pay her rent. Is fine, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Well, this is the time you are paying your rent. You know what I'm saying? This is the time. Like, like, look at you, bitch. There's yeah. a lot of people. Uh-huh. First of the month. Oh, uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm, I'm, in bind, right. I'm, I'm in a bind, mate. I'm in a bind. I'm in a bind, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes I'm here for that. Sometimes I'm here for that. Oh, what about if he can't pay his rent? That's, that's, that's a turn off. Imagine. No, it ain't. Imagine yep. like, uh, this, uh, you ain't got your rent money, nigga. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want dick for the rent. Uh-uh. For real? No. Sahara over here. I cannot. Yeah. <laughs> Sahara. Yeah, have you ever been in love enough where you're like, I'll eat your pussy, but we don't have to do anything else besides that? 
it for my <coughs> shorty, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying, for my girl. But it don't never work out that way. They never <laughs> yeah, let it just no. like y'all never not like no. You're not you about done to just that eat now. my pussy. Where's the dick? And, <laughs> yeah, <y'all. laughs> I need the dick. Mm. I didn't know it was a thing, but it definitely they. Yeah, they don't like, let Gigi you just Clay, leave. You never had to get up at four a.m. and go to work. <laughs> Be like, I'm good with that. <laughs> That's you. You could like ah, bet, not boom. anymore. But now, I mean, but back, yes, like waking up early in the morning and being exhausted. I'm okay with that. You know, are you the type of person who falls asleep right after sex? Oh, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> I hate guys though. like Party that. Party done. I feel like all guys are like that too, bro. Most, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just went to work. Do you understand? I am tired. Mm-hmm. Being fa- it depends Come on here. the time of day. Come here. Because morning sex is giving oh, you, you the, get up. The, 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 you get up and go, but on that late go right back tip. to sleep. I think that's the best Nothing feeling to have sex go. and go to sleep. I like morning sex. What's your favorite? I like time? nighttime sex. What's your favorite? You like, sleep. Leo, like nighttime sex? Yeah. I like morning, like early, early in the morning. What's your favorite? Early, time of day? early in the morning. What's early, early? Like three, four. Three a.m. That's late night. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's the late. Night time. That's still late. Oh, night. Okay. Because yeah. yeah, I'm passing out, waking yeah. up. Morning back. is like but not like not, not like six. morning breath. Seven, eight, six, six is not, seven, eight. Is that morning that sex? Roll six? over from the side. <laughs> Have you ever not been able to come? <clears throat> yeah. What, what would the reasons be for that? Uh, too drunk. Mm-hmm. Too. Uh, to anything. To on, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Is it still okay though? Like you still enjoy it even if you don't finish? Me, yeah, I'm I'm cool. Have you ever had blue balls? I'm sure. Especially in my <laughs> early, early in my early career. Days. Early days. Early in my career. career. Early Bro, in my you career. are working hard. I'm working hard. <laughs> I'm working hard. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite time of day to have sex? I, I, I like the late night. I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Like the Yo, I just got in off whatever. After the show. Whatever. Yeah. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Wake up. He really just showed us. Yeah, we go. We and go. I look back, I know y'all can't see Jada, but she enjoyed that. She did. <laughs> Her eyes are like, like she been there and done that. Right. She's like, yep. That just happened. <laughs> Have you filmed yourself? Of course. What? She's what? like, okay, you laughed a little too hard. Over the corner. <laughs> Start my own website with this. I know that's right. <laughs> do you have sex different when you know you're filming yourself? Oh, uh, I don't think so. Do you think, think women? Same. Do you think when you turn the flash on that that women go crazy? Yeah, yeah, I'll fucking. You gotta show oh, that camera action. Yeah, this I ain't trying to be whack on this. This a whole new bra right here. Yo, you going <laughs> crazy? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's they, just like something like, that just flash. in case it leaked. Just Listen, in case that flash come on and you it's gotta like, perform, oh, huh? <laughs> time to get to it. <laughs> Are you loud? Right? Yeah. He said, who, me? Like somebody else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's no one else here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me and Migos. We, we, we two different people right now. Me and Casa Migos. Yeah. Um, I don't think so. It depends. I talk sometimes. But... Is he loud? Yeah, he ain't, he ain't loud. We have a, he he have a witness here. He's a soldier. He's a soldier. You talk, what do you say? What do I say? Yeah, like what type of things do you say? I don't know. It depends on the, the theme. Moment. Depends on the theme of the night. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> like, like, you know you're supposed to be. You know you're supposed to be on your way to the shoot right now. Look, what you doing? Why are you doing this? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Depends this. on whatever the theme What's is. What's happening? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. So look. So you have this EP, X tape, sex tape, whichever one you're gonna call it. I don't know what it is. Sex tape. X sex tape, whatever. Um, <laughs> X sex tape. Hilarious. Uh, uh, yeah. So how you feeling about it? Um, it's it's crazy because. This started as just like, yo, I want to put something out. Mm-hmm. I got a, more music already, you know what I'm saying, prepared, but I want to put something out. Especially wanted to um wanted people to just get used to hearing me in different in tones and textures. Like, you know, it's a lot of singing on there, you know what yes. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I want people to just hear, you know what I'm saying? Here, this Take is this. this is yeah. And and let's get back to it. It just so happens that now it's like, yeah, hey, I'm re- I'm ready, you know what I'm saying? I, mm-hmm. I don't, I'm ready. You happy? I'm I'm definitely excited. It's been so long. I've been it been so much times of me seeing people like, yo, when you gonna drop again? We yeah. want another this. We want another Rob man. We want another underrated. We want another mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like so I'm I'm happy to be able to just No time like the present. Get exactly, you know what I'm saying? I feel like the bar is high for you. Do you feel like that? I, I think so too, and that's why I feel like I've been kinda like kicking myself, like, yo, I need to make this, I need to make this, I need to do this. You know, but I felt like, yo. 
Bro, you're making fire shit. Just let the people enjoy it. And we had a climate where people is, you know, dropping like this. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. So I'm like, yo, here, give this to the people, let them enjoy it, and we'll be right back. Yeah, at the top cold of the year. air, let the dough stack. Love it. Yeah. Is there a tour coming too? Absolutely. I can't wait. That's one of my favorite things is to touch the people and see the people mm -hmm. and uh, just enjoy it together. And in more ways than that, like the first time we did Underrated, we did like a sip and paint where I just played it for a bunch of people and oh, we, we sat and, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I like to think of just different ways for people Outside to the enjoy the music. You know what I'm saying? I want like. That's a good way to connect with the people. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You with know the what ladies. Mean? I think my first show will probably be uh, probably be something intimate like that where we just sit. I might not even sit and rap at all. Just we going to play this shit. Yeah. I'm going to sit here. Y'all tell me what y'all. You know what I mean? Like I just, mm -hmm. I, I like the fact that uh. People can take music with them and enjoy it however they want to. So I'll just... sip and paint. I would yeah, too. That's and be like, I listen to his project and I paint this bullshit. Mm, yeah, look, look Cause I we, can't paint. Look look what what we made. Made. But that's the whole point of sipping. It's a bunch of people who can't paint. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah. I don't think that people who, sh who can paint should do sipping yeah. paints. That's <laughs> no, that's why. That's, that's like people who sing doing karaoke. Yeah, like yeah. 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 Yeah, yo, you want know something crazy? We really got songs together already, and it's you know what I'm saying it's coming soon. So we wound up getting in the studio. Good. Okay, okay, good. I would hope so. We yeah. eventually, we eventually made it to the down. studio. Yeah, uh, that persistence paid off. Yeah. It always does. It always does. Consistency. We like a persistent man. <laughs> like I'm they, gonna get they, this goddamn they, collab. They, 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 they be playing with you, bro. Like just keep going. You know what I'm saying? They playing with you. Keep going. Well, listen, I feel like. I do like when people who both have shit happening can yep. come together. Yes. And I always say that, like, as independent people who are doing their shit that don't need each other, it's great when you can come together and really, like, lean on each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that's the, the perfect situation. And, you know, I know that, like, you've been through a lot of shit, but I'm just glad we had an opportunity for you to be able to talk and, and clear some things up okay. as well. I'm, I'm happy too. Oh, oh, and I cannot not ask you this. All right. Okay. Uh -oh. So people had an issue with you talking about the the lipo. Okay. Why did you feel the need to put that in the song for the person? Because, you know, people <clears throat> were like, all right, you know, she because you do need to work out after you get lipo too, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, as a uh, two-time lipo receiver, mm -hmm. <laughs> receiver, <laughs> yeah, you have to maintain it. Now, a woman, the average woman is probably going to work it out and just work it out, right? But a woman who has the means to take the shortcut, you're going to take the shortcut. Why not? Why go through all the hard work when you can just lay on the table real quick and then maintain it? All right. I mean, I, you know, that's just speaking from... But that was one thing that people did have some backlash about. What do you say about that? So I spoke my piece. I said what I said. Okay, I said what I said. Period. Um, Men get lipo too now, by yes, the way. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Men get lipo and go work out. Mm -hmm. He said she took her shots. So I'm gonna take mine. No, I don't even think it was a shot. Like you know what I'm saying. I don't think it, was it a felt shot. like it. It felt like a shot. I yeah. felt. I don't think it was a shot. I didn't. Do you have any regrets about that? Like, okay, maybe I shouldn't. Have... No. <sighs> So, nah, everything is everything is in the record. It's done, it's done. Everything is in the record. I feel like uh, you just told me you you got lipo twice, right? Yeah. He's saying be honest. What? He's saying oh, be truthful. Oh, like oh, yeah. so, that's your main thing. Just be truthful. <clears throat> I just felt like I was painted in a light that that I knew wasn't true, and uh, and there's Let's a lot there's, there's, there. a, there's, a, there's a lot of truths. You know, that's all. And put them mm -hmm. out there. That's it. So you've never had lipo? No. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> then she gonna throw a joke in there. There's one thing she gonna do. Yes. <laughs> she gonna throw a joke in there. Okay. No, All okay. right. Well, party. Listen, I we appreciate you for coming through. Like I said, yes, we do. you've me. always been a stand-up person, mm -hmm. you know, to us, and I never want to feel like because I know it's criticism, like no matter what, you know. Absolutely. And so we do have a lot of empathy for Meg Thee Stallion and everything that she's been through, you know, because that's not easy. And mm -hmm. I've definitely seen people attacking her and doing all of those things. But I also feel like we do need to make sure we pay attention to the things that you may have gone through. And like you said, you had to go through therapy and do a lot of different things to heal yourself. I know that wasn't an easy situation for you to be in. All right. Uh, one thing One thing I would say is uh, <clears throat> I, I, never, I, I never intended this to... 
align me with people that have been her naysayers or people who have always had a dislike for like mm -hmm. i'm not one of those people like i'm not i'm not on your side i'm not you know what i'm saying that's not me i'm not you know what i mean that's, you're that's, not here to rally up the truth yeah no nah, no nah, no nah, i don't i don't I, that's not my agenda it's not my mm -hmm. plan i was simply just talking from me and my experience yeah. so i don't i don't like that it's kind of getting banned with some of those you know right. what i'm saying those yeah. other things <clears throat> but um yeah, I just wanted to put That's my piece out there. Noble. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming through. We do appreciate you for even Sex trusting eight. us to have this conversation. We have a date, right? 12-12? 12-12 is the date. Yeah. 12, 12, 20. 12, so are we calling it X tape or sex tape? What are we doing? Angela, Angela <laughs> tape. 12, 12. He it's said he changed. Look, sex tape, if you're grown, you know what I'm saying? You're under 18. You want, hey, let me get this X tape. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Yeah. Right. Right. You know Flex clean. Clean. Flex tape. <laughs> Bye, Angela. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Gigi. That Gigi oh, was a big shot. shot. It wasn't even a whole ridiculous. shot. I drank the whole bottle of water after the flush it down. Oh my gosh, she's so dramatic. You good? What happened on the Casamigo that you don't like it no more? Let me pee. I'll tell you when I come back. Yeah. Um, and FYI, you that. shouldn't have to pee. You had that shit done. <laughs> 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 All right, lip service. <laughs>